Hey there friends, today I'm going to show you how you can take an audio file that you have in your Google Drive and actually play it on your digital device. I know I'm always giving audio downloads and sometimes teachers know how to listen to it at the moment, but they're not sure what the process is to take it from their computer and put it on either their phone or their iPad so they'll be able to play it for kids. So today I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm actually going to give you an audio download to give it a try on. I know you can do it. It's definitely going to make your life easier because you're going to be able to learn how in Google Drive you're able to create files and basically different playlists. Now you can absolutely do this within iTunes, but since everyone has access to Google Drive and not everybody is an iTunes fan, we're going to stick with this platform. So are you ready to go? Let's do it. Okay, here we are. Now, many of you probably came to my email list because you saw something, whether it would be on Facebook or Pinterest, of some free activities that I was giving away. So you probably filled out something like this. So here I go. I'm going to fill it out so that you can see the whole process. My name's Jocelyn. My email address is jocelynmanzanares at gmail.com. And I am a teacher. And yes, I want it. Now, once I hit yes, I want it, I get taken to a thank you page. There I am with my pink guitar. That sucker has not seen daylight very often lately, so we need to get back in the classroom. But now I'm going to go to my inbox to see if my free download is there. So go here. And I click on it. And it says, thanks for requesting my activity pack. Click on the button to download. Download now. Now the amazing thing about this is all of them are already in Google Drive. So a lot of the work is already done for you. So there we've got the activity guide. You can click on that and see that. You've also got the audio download. This is gonna be the track that you're gonna play to go along with this birds activity. Now with this, you can decide if you want to keep it here or if you want to put it somewhere else. But I really do recommend you create your own file within your Google Drive so you know how to find it. So we're going to go over to new and I'm going to make a folder and I'm going to call it listening activities. Okay, listening activities. Create. And now I want to make sure and pull in these two documents the bird and the audio download into my listening activities. I say yes, don't worry about that. That probably won't show up on your computer. And I'm gonna pull the activity guide in there as well. Yes, I'm okay to move it. All right, so now I know that listening activities, right now, I only have one, is in this folder. So now I'm gonna show you how you'll access these activities, mainly this audio recording on your digital device. So I'm going to show you on an iPad and an iPhone this will work. So let's head over to our digital device. Now we are on my iPhone. Now at this point I need to have a certain app downloaded. It's called Drive or Google Drive. So double check that you have or don't have it. It's this triangle right here that says Drive underneath it. If you don't have it, head over to your app store right now and pick that up because you're going to need it for this next step. All right, I click on Drive and I open it. Now, remember, I made a folder called Listening Activities on my computer. I need to find that now on my phone. Now, I'm in Drive. It's exactly the same thing. So it instantly is in this folder too. So I'm putting in Listening Activities. And now we wait for it, wait for it, it opens up. There's my listening activities. What do you know? It's the bird's activity guide and the bird's audio download. So at this point, I can literally click on it and I wait. And in just a sec, once it loads up, I'm gonna hear it. And there it is. Turn up the volume and have fun with your kids. Now make sure to go back into that activity guide because there's some lovely principles that you'll want to have just to have that visual component with this activity. Now one little side note, 
If you're ever in a school setting where your internet is super bad, you want to make sure that you do this very next step. Go up to these three buttons and click on those and you're going to touch make available offline right there. By doing that, no matter where you're at, if your internet isn't working, you'll still be able to access that song. I really encourage you to not forget how to do that. So again, you can go back into your Google Drive on your computer and make all sorts of files. You could make all sorts of folders. You could make um, movement folders and then you'll be able to access, access those on your phone with that drive. It's a fantastic way to get digital to music into your classroom. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check that subscribe button so you're always up to date on all of our new videos. Thank you again and we'll see you soon.